So in senior dogs, what we see is kind of mild slowing of athletic abilities. You might see slower agility or fly ball times, for example. Early signs of aging, such as graying of the coat, uh, particularly on the face in many breeds of dogs. And then you'll probably see early signs of hearing loss or vision changes, such as those cloudy lenses you see that indicates that your dog has presbyopia, just like humans get after about age 50. When we're talking about geriatric dogs, we start to see some additional things. We see reduced interest in physical activity sometimes, and actually quite often. We see atrophy of muscles along the spine particularly, and that's called sarcopenia. We also see some degenerative changes, particularly of the musculoskeletal area, such as arthritis. But here's the thing I want to tell you about, and, and, and I want to interrupt myself here to tell you about something. Probably all of you have known dogs that in, in their older years had to be euthanized because they, quote, couldn't get around anymore. Maybe they couldn't even stand up from a sit. Maybe they couldn't go up a couple of stairs. Maybe they were slipping and falling on floors all the time. And it just seemed like their quality of life had declined and it's time for, for them to be euthanized. You know, as a pathologist, I did postmortems on a lot of these dogs. And what did I learn? They didn't have arthritis. They didn't actually have musculoskeletal disease. Most of them just had weakness. How sad is that? When we know that, these, that that can be changed by fitness programs. So look at these asterisks. All of these things are things that the Fit for Life and Fit to be Tied programs will change and can be modified. I mean, I think that's so incredibly exciting. 